Greetings from Matinic, Philippines. This is the eighth time my daughter Veronica and I will be reporting about the Vedic Math activities in the Philippines. Due to the continuing restrictions brought about by the COVID pandemic, we were not able to go around the Philippines to conduct lectures and seminars. We have not resumed our face-to-face -face classes either, but we have been quite successful in our online activities. Just this morning, we had a webinar with the LaSalle University Integrated School. Last month, we had a webinar with Isaac Lopez High School in Mandaluyong. We also conduct review webinars for those participating in the national and international Vedic Math Olympiad. We also have webinars for coaches. Last June 19, 2021, we held the first Matinic Vedic Mathematics National Challenge. We had 764 participants and 40 area facilitators. This is a picture of the meeting of facilitators before the first Matinic Vedic Math National Challenge. Simultaneously with the first Vedic Math, uh, Matinic Vedic Math National Challenge, we held the second San Pablo City Division-wide Vedic Mathematics Olympiad, where over about 150 participants from 20 schools participated. In August 14, 2021, we held the second Philippine National Vedic Math Olympiad. This was uh, the second because the first was held in 2019. This time we held uh, it online. So we had 278 participants, which were supervised by 30 area facilitators. Here we can see the participants being supervised by their area facilitators. We use two cameras so that we can monitor uh, the participants. In September, during the 2021 International Vedic Math Olympiad, 75% of our the participants were from the Philippines. We tapped four or five, or five categories and got 15 out of 19 top three places. The Filipinos won a total of 35 gold, 70 silver, and 107 bronze awards. We also had some unofficial recognition. The top two regional centers with the most number of participants, the one from San Pablo City and the one from Quezon, were cited by the IABM for having, uh, the one from San Pablo had more than 80 participants, while the Quezon Center had 60 participants. We also had the division with the most number of participants, more than 200. And the school with the most number of participants, the Kalamba Integrated Science High School. In December, we held the inspirational match from India year four. We had the first inspirational match from India in 2018, when the trustees of the IABM came to the Philippines, so we brought them to 
Puerto Princesa City in Palawan, San Pablo City in Laguna, and in UP Diliman in Quezon City. In 2019, James Glover and Gauri Ramachandran joined us in Apolod City, Iloilo City, Puerto Princesa City, and in Manila, where we also had the first Philippine National Vedic Math Olympiad. So in the aspirational maths from India year four, we had almost 20 participants, 200 participants, five speakers from IABM and 15 local speakers. And they discussed a total of 39 topics. So all the presentations were recorded so that they can be viewed later. This can be used to review for the coming Vedic Math competitions. So here are some of the participants in the inspirational maths from India. You will notice that most of them are students. Okay. So after the inspirational maths from India year four, we conducted the assessments of the IABM. So in the IABM rating system, we have five levels. The first is the foundation level novice. Second is the foundation level proficient. Third is the foundation level distinction. Fourth, the intermediate level. And fifth, the advanced level. So in the foundation level novice, 52 students and teachers were able to pass the exam. Of those 52, 23 were able to pass the foundation level proficient. This year, we are going to conduct level one assessment on March 20, 2022, the level two assessment on March 27, 2022, and the level three assessment on April 3. This is also in preparation for our scheduled BM competitions this year. We're scheduling the second Matinic Vedic Math National Challenge on April 24, 2022. The third Philippine National BM Olympiad on June 5. These two are in preparation for our participation in the second International Vedic Math Olympiad, which is scheduled on September. So as part of our preparation, this January, we started um, publishing Math Tip for the Week in cooperation with our sponsor, Palawan Phone Shop. So if you will notice in this post, this was about uh, two weeks ago, no? This is, we shared this in our Matinic and Facebook pages and groups, no? So it generated 332,684 people reached. We had 18,058 engagements, 235 comments, and 94 shares. So we shared it in our FB pages, Facebook pages, no? The Matinic Philippines Math Made Fun, Fast and Easy. This has about uh, 17 to 18,000 followers. Matinik San Pablo page, which has about 13,000 followers. And this is my other page, Math Advocate I. And of course, we shared it with the Palawan Phone Shop Express Pera Padala website. Web page in Facebook, this is over 2.1 million followers. We have started uh, talking with Matt to Shine. 
This is to accelerate the promotion of Vedic math in the Philippines. So we need to partner math to shine, with Math to Shine to offer their courses and that of Ken Williams uh, online Vedic math courses to Filipino students and teachers. We hope that with our partnership with Math to Shine, we will able we will be able to reach more students and teachers in the Philippines. So thank you. From Atenic Philippines, math made fun, fast and easy.